Ladies, tell me what y'all think about this. All right. What I'm learning about love is love is just like running a business. Like my ex-girlfriend, um, she is who really helped build me into the type of man that I am today. And by the time I became that man, um, I mean, her didn't work out. I had, I, I had outgrown her and um, not just my own life. And sometimes it felt bad, like, looking at myself, wishing that she could benefit from off the, off the person and the man that I became. So like, I was thinking about how like, I I had all these cars in my life, you know, Bentleys and, and just all this shit, man. And um, you know, even though I got a lot of bread, I think, I, I think I'm gonna go back to the lat. You know, that's what I came, that's what I came from. I came from lax, gripping on grain, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, so I was like, you know, uh, would you please come back? And girl, would you just come sit off in my lap? Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's like that old oh, shit, because sometimes we grow and we, we do stuff that other people do, but that's not us. You know, as much as I um, I like having nice shit, some shit that I went to, that shit wasn't me. You know, I ain't never been no real flossy, flossy type of person. I, I floss with the things that I the information that I know and by building businesses and giving people jobs, not by wasting money on buying the same people shit that I talk about, the same people who oppress our people and I go give, you know, 187,000 to them motherfuckers. That shit is so dumb. It's the simple shit. You know what I'm talking about? Let's try it one more time. <laughs> Thank you, THX. Let me tell you, no matter um, how hard it, how, how how hard life may end up being, I'm learning there's some things that uh, money can't even bring. And I hope that um, 
they don't push our kids to being miserable fucks. You know, some people don't have an appreciation for true beauty. Like my girlfriend in college, she made me realize that back then I used to keep my head down all the time. And she said it can be aliens in the sky, anything. Like, look up. The sky is beautiful. Like, unless you live in, like, you know, a place with a lot of pollution or something. But, like, you can always walk out your house and look at the sun. The sky is usually always beautiful. Even the chemtrails are beautiful. <laughs> but, like, don't let people take away your happiness. And I let a lot of people do that to me. You know, because I, you know, I, I used to think I was the hardest motherfucker on this planet. You know, I'll fight and shoot and all that kind of shit, but I am an artist. I am a rapper. Most motherfuckers say that I am a rapper. I am an artist. You know, um, I just came from a very violent, um, a very violent town, you know, and uh, that's just my default. And I allowed the music business to take away my love and my blessing. You know, at the end of the day, I realized them executive fucks, like they can't stand on the corner with their accountant. They can't uh, stand on the corner with their law degrees and make no money. They take the product, and we the product. We are the blood of all that shit. So at the end of the day, you know, I can produce commercials. Um, actually, um, Pastor Warren Campbell taught me that. He was like, Banner, at the end of the day, I can play the bass in church and, you know, play two nights at a uh, jazz club, and I can basically take care of my family if all this shit went bad. And, um, you know, some of the shit y'all hear, I may use some of it. I might not, but I wanted to get back to making music just because I enjoyed it. I went back to my old drum machine. Like, I'm a master on, you know, MPC products. And, um, you know, I let so many people trying to be like other people. You know, I went away from what I was great at. It don't matter um, what, like, instrument you use or... You know, what you use as long as when you push play, that shit jammed. You know what I'm saying? And um, I need y'all to do me a favor, please. Each and every one of y'all that's um, on here right now, go to Apple or Tidal or wherever, you know, and look up the podcast and subscribe to the David Banner podcast and um, write a five-star review. I need that because, um, I need that because, um, we can, um, we can rank, um, we actually already rank, to be honest with you, we're, we're number 54 on Apple already, so like if y'all support, um, it helps me from a business perspective, there's a lot of power that I can have and a lot of things that I can do. If you all go ahead and sign up and um, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see my new office? I'll show y'all my new office. Don't be going out telling motherfuckers shit. I'm showing you some shit that's just for you. Ain't for everybody. It's my new office. So. It's my office. It's a standing desk. One of a kind wall that was built for me. Thank you, Liz. Go get your dead grace at home banking game. Um, there's two plaques that I had that mean the world to me, and uh, this is one of them. And the other one is the Lil Wayne. Carter. Three plaque. What the fuck did I come in here for anyway? I came in here for my child. Charger for my laptop. Let y'all hear some exclusive shit. Real quick, I'm feeling real vibey right now. Uh, I 
I'll be in Chicago this week too speaking. So, um, y'all look up on my. Oh, damn, that's nasty as fuck. I got 4 day old food in my damn backpack. I think I better throw that away. That might be smart.